What's up guys, I'm saxophonist Chris Godber. Today I am bringing you some new mouthpieces by my buddy Marlon Boone. What's up guys, welcome back. So my buddy Marlon Boone is a fellow saxophone player uh, down in Tampa, Florida. And uh, he is an artist endorser with Kim Saxophones. He and I go back a ways. Uh, we were artist endorsers for LA Sax uh, years ago, and now Kim's Saxophones. Uh, so Kim's Saxophone, if you've uh, had a chance to check them out at NAMM, they're at NAMM every year, great saxophones. I actually uh, play uh, Kim's Korea alto saxophone, the 808 model, uh, unlacquered alto saxophone. and. Uh, Kim's has some great products, uh, not just saxophones, but just accessories and all. I have his reed cases. All, all his things are nicely pointed and, and well done. Now he's making mouthpieces. My buddy Marlon Boone is a, uh, a heavy endorser uh, for his products, and so he has his own line of mouthpieces through Kim's Korea Saxophones. These are the Marlon Boone uh, Signature Series mouthpieces. And uh, I'm covering uh, alto and tenor in this video. I did soprano in a separate video, so check that out as well. So the first thing you're going to see is a soft pack uh, zipper case with a velvet mouthpiece pouch inside. Um, then you've got the, uh, the nice uh, mouthpiece cap and ligature that these come with. They are stainless steel mouthpieces and uh, so it kind of re reminds me of a ARB or a Beechler Bellite. Not many people do the stainless steel thing but it's very unique, it's very nice and it's a great material for mouthpieces. I've just heard it's hard to work with but with CNC machining nowadays I think that's uh, changing the game. Uh, the next thing you're going to notice, of course, is this unique baffle. Uh, now, I like to see this. Um, uh, time and time again, we see mouthpiece makers just kind of reinventing the wheel with step baffles and rollover baffles, but these are not that. These have a very unique uh, stair-stepping uh, method here. The alto is like triple step into a like a bullet chamber. Uh, the tenor um, is, is, or really I guess alto, that fourth step is, would be the bullet chamber, so that's almost like quad step. But it's, it's three uh, separate uh, step baffles, and then the tenor has uh, the two into uh, the squared off chamber there. Uh, they are medium chamber mouthpieces and uh, it, it just gives a, a unique vibe to it. Um, I've never seen anything like this, so I'm glad to see something kind of out of the box. This is very cool. So let's go ahead and test these out. Kim's Korea Mouthpiece Marlon Boone Signature Edition on a Kim's Korea saxophone. So here we go. <laughs> with a track we'll do a little something funky and uh, then we'll do uh, something a little slower here So uh, as can be expected, it is a bright mouthpiece. It can peel the paint off if you need it to and really uh, push it, um, but you know, it'll sit back as well. Um, uh, it'd probably be a bit too bright for straight ahead jazz. Of course, I don't play that. I'm an R&B, uh, smooth jazz and gospel kind of player, so uh, that fits right in uh, the type of stuff that I do. Um, but just wanted to showcase a little bit of that there with a up-tempo song. So uh, let's move on to the tenor piece and uh, we'll try it out. Uh, well, 
rounded, you know, uh, top, top to bottom. So uh, let's try with a track, a little R&B groove. Let's do some Ascension by Maxwell. So, um, again, an, another power powerhouse player there, definitely in the R&B uh, spectrum where I like to play, and uh, does does that well. Um, you know, yeah, these are powerful and probably uh, too bright for um, straight ahead jazz or something like that. But you know, if you're looking at a high baffle mouthpiece, that's probably not what you're using it for anyway. Um, so you'll be in good shape there. But I, I like to think of powerful high baffle mouthpieces like sports cars and horsepower. You know. Um, it's there when you need it, but you can lay back and cruise. You know, you see the old guys driving around in their Corvettes, and they do that just fine. And a mouthpiece like that, you know, you can play ballads with it, and uh, you can lay back. But then when you need that power or that uh, ease of the altissimo, it is there. So I want to check these. Uh, I want to check the tip opening real quick because the tenor in particular played uh, a little bit uh, easier than I expected. Uh, like I could have used a thicker reed on it, but uh, I play a 110 tip opening on tenor of my main mouthpiece is a Vigilante Detroit Rock and this is yeah it's it's measuring 0 0.1002 and this is a T8 so it should be about a 110 so um, so uh, maybe the they were measuring the tip a little bit either this one got labeled um, differently or uh, they just didn't make it as open or maybe their T8 isn't uh, the same as, as uh, other 8 on a, a tenor mouthpiece so maybe I would need an eight star or a nine uh, if you wanted to get to that like you know 107 type uh, area that uh, 105 to 107 like a seven star or something like that because I play a 110 uh, on my tenor mouthpiece and this should be about there but it's uh, you know, I'm, I'm the biggest I'm really getting is 0 0.103. So, so, uh, so maybe an eight star would be uh, a little bit more comfortable for me, or even a nine if it if it comes in that. Otherwise, I'd just play with a thicker reed on it because it, it was very very free blowing, uh, and probably because of that tip opening. Let's check out the alto. The alto is a seven star. So, I imagine that would be 0.8 something. Yeah. So there we go, like 0 0.80, 0 0.82. So that, that's that's about right. Um, that's pretty close to between a seven seven star with most manufacturers there. So um, so there we go. Again, um, Marlin, very very nice product here. Um, definitely something to be proud of. If you guys are in the market for a uh, high baffle alto or tenor piece, um, this the tenor reminds me a lot of like a, a Theowani Shiva. Um, I haven't really played the Durga on tenor. I did play the, the Shiva and it was pretty bright and powerful like this. So uh, definitely comparable to that. And uh, the Alto, um, this is this is a screamer, you know. Um, if you are in the market for high baffle mouthpieces, I definitely recommend these because uh, the, the Alto starts at, is at 350, the Soprano is 320, Alto is 350, tenor is 380. Um, you know, the mouthpiece prices have gotten way out of hand, I think, uh, lately. So these are actually a, a bargain in that, being that so many of the competition is in the five, six hundred, even seven hundred dollar range for tenor mouthpieces. Um, so this is a, is really a high quality mouthpiece, punches way above its weight. It's as good as any of those uh, competitors' mouthpieces that are in the five, six hundred dollar range. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking these out. Kimsaxophone.com or in the U.S., Marlon Boone has a stock of them. Uh, here in Florida, he can ship out to you. Contact him, MarlinBooneMusic.com. Definitely get your hands on some of these. Give these a shot. Um, I uh, think it is a 
just what the doctor ordered for for a lot of you that are that are looking for a mouthpiece like this so thanks so much for watching guys make sure to uh, subscribe here to the youtube channel at chris godber sax i'll be bringing you more saxophone related content soon uh, so stick around i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.